Hi, it's Dave T here, and if, like me, you struggle to remember lines when talking into a camera, then here's a DIY teleprompter that uses proper beam splitter glass and yet still only costs about £50 or less if you have some of the materials already. As an added bonus, it's pretty robust and foldables to make it more portable, so let's get straight into this and see how I made it. Okay, so let's just break in here to talk about the glass. The teleprompter works by reflecting text on a phone or tablet towards the person who has to actually read it. Now you can do this with ordinary glass, but that you can get pretty much anywhere from like a cheap picture frame. However, with normal glass, the image is reflected from the, both the back and the front sides of the glass, which shows a double image to the reader. Beam splitter glass is specially coated on one or both sides to stop the additional reflection. I purchased my glass in the UK from scientificmirrors.co.uk. Whilst this is not sponsored in any way, I would recommend their services as they were very friendly and efficient. If you really are on a budget, then you can continue to use normal glass, but the text won't be as clear to read. One thing that you will always need to do is avoid any other reflections or light coming into the glass from either side. So let's show how I did that. <laughs>
So with my design, I decided to mount the teleprompter onto the rails of my camera rig, but you could also either put the teleprompter onto a separate tripod in front of the camera by fixing a quick release plate on the base, or even make a mount for the camera to fix onto the back of the teleprompter. There are lots of free teleprompt apps for either Android or iOS, plus some prepaid ones with additional features, but and I'm actually using Parrot Teleprompt, which is a free one right now. If you'd like a review of that or some of the other apps, please leave a comment below. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, then please give it a like. And if you are interested in seeing other videos I make, then please consider subscribing to my channel. As always, thanks for watching. You know, I think that's the first time I've actually got that bit right first time, because normally I say like too many times and it puts me off, but the camera's still running, isn't it?